Okay. Tonight we have got a lot, actually. And the more I think about it, like I got to rush to get Dynamite watched so I can do that show with Vinny before the Tokyo Dome starts. Yeah. I'm not sure why I didn't just say we do our normal show tomorrow and then I do the other show with, with Dave. I don't know why I didn't say that. Why didn't I say that? Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll let you know what the plan is. Because the more I think about it, the more I, I don't have any idea why we switched. Yeah, but the Dome show won't be over until like 5 in the morning, so. Well, I know, but my, my point is, like, the Dave show ain't going to go early on Thursday. So why don't I just do the Vinny show at 9 and then do the Dave show afterwards? I'll talk to Vinny during the break. We'll see what he wants to do. But anyway, uh, Dynamite, we have got uh, Orange Cassidy versus Dante Martin for the international title. We have Swerve Strickland versus Daniel Garcia. We have uh, Christian's two-time TNT Championship 2024 State of the Union. We have Adam Cole explaining his shocking betrayal. That's what it says here. (laughs) And exclusive comments from new AEW World Champion Samoa Joe. I do not expect MGF on the show. I don't expect him on the show for a while at least. But uh, we'll see what happens. Now, what's up with uh, Mercedes? Well, I don't know. I have stated, and I will not backtrack, I have stated that I believe that Mercedes is going to be on the show tonight. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I don't know for sure, okay? But here's what I do know. I do know that there are people in WWE who believe that she will be debuting on the show tonight. And I know there are people in AEW who believe that she will be debuting on the show tonight. That doesn't mean she's going to debut, but I, I, I think she will. We'll find out tomorrow. Now, when uh, Mariah May, they announced that Mariah May was going to have her debut. And, uh, you know, people were like, oh, I think it'll be Mercedes and other people. This was on our board. Wait, wait, who do you Are you talking about the girl from Stardom? Yes, she's from oh, Stardom. Stardom. She hasn't debuted yet, right. but she's going to tonight. And they're like, ah. Oh. I mean, it, they've been building up this Mariah May thing for a long time and... You know, uh, they can't possibly just put in with some rando. Like, what kind of a what kind of a debut would that be? It's got to be somebody big. It's got to be Mercedes or somebody like that. Well, they announce her opponent, Queen Aminata, will be the opponent of Mariah May. I'm not sure that Queen Aminata has ever had a match ever on Dynamite. She might have once, maybe. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's not going to be Mercedes. Now, I mean, Mercedes could appear afterwards. Mercedes could do anything on this show. I guess we shall uh, we shall find out. Why would people want Mariah May to debut against Mercedes? Why would anyone think that that's a good idea? Well, people argued it, so what do you want me to do? I didn't. Well, I don't know. See, here's the thing with AEW, everybody. What's that? I'm not saying... I'm not saying that uh, Mercedes will debut in that segment 100%, because I don't know. But if you watch AEW, okay, when they advertise a match like Mariah May versus Queen Aminata, like, there's more to it. You know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, I'll give you an example. Like Swerve Strickland and Daniel Garcia, okay? that That's like, it's a big match. They were both in the, the you know, the deal and uh, the Continental Classic. And Orange Cassidy, Dante Martin, it's a big match for the international title, everything like that. But whenever they do some, you know, the Young Bucks will be wrestling, I don't know, uh, the Bears or whatever. You always know there's going to be an angle. It's not like that's not a self-contained segment. There's always something more to it. Well, so my guess is that it won't just be Mariah May gets in there. They have a they have a good match. Mariah wins, and we move on to the next segment. I think there's going to be something happening there. Well, but we'll I, see. Here's the thing: there could be something happening there, but it doesn't need to be an outside force to make that thing happen. She is trying to show her wares. To Tony Storm and Tony Storm going out there and maybe catching the end and dismissing her or something like that. I mean, it could just play more into the Mariah Tony Storm thing as opposed to anyone who may debut at the end of that segment. 
This person says, you said the same thing last year around this time when Baker called herself the boss and winked at the camera and nothing happened. I said, what? What did I say? What I said was that that wasn't Britt Baker going into business for herself. She was specifically told to wink at the camera and mention the boss. So I don't know if I don't know what that had to do with anything. Oh, but so shout out to Dan I, it, Champion it was for done, being such a Springsteen. It was fan. done for a reason last year. So maybe Tony thought that uh, you know they had her then or whatever. I mean, hey, Mercedes was it uh, all the the whatever show was it all, all in or out? all out? She was at the one in Wembley. That one. I you mean, were there? She was. She, well, I was next to her. Well, but I mean, she was there. They put her on camera. You think they did that for no reason? I'm sure they thought she was coming in then, too. So, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And then we've got Wrestle Kingdom tonight. I think we all know the card. I just know I'm really excited for that Rambo. (laughs) (laughs) That's the other reason I need to get Vinny tomorrow, because I don't want to miss that Rambo. You know what I mean? You know what? They could make the Rambo something. They could make it wacky. They could make it fun. But they probably won't. Well... I guess we'll find out now, won't we? I hope we do, and I hope it's good. I hope it goes against what I'm thinking right now, which is it's just going to be some sort of nonsense to bring up a new KOPW contender for that stupid title and trophy. And I don't care what you think about Filthy being that champion or challenging for that trophy and making those matches, as fun as that would be, a waste of Filthy Tom Lawler's time. Back in a moment, Observer Live. (sighs) Ah. Just God. Exasperated already. No, it's like for the last half hour, just 8,000 things all happening at the same time. Just it's look like, at my brother. phone and it's like, oh, great. Nine more random texts about 25 different things. Sick of it! Not one for me, though. No, but what is this now? <laughs> oh, God. Something good? Uh, let me, I gotta send this to... Somebody. Uh, is it a scoops alert? No, it has absolutely nothing to do with that. It's a it's oh, a okay. it's a total non wrestling related It's Whitney screaming at you right now to come down here and get this whatever that three wheel motion thing is out of the driveway. No, it's my uh for some reason eh, no one cares. What is it? What is it? My my parents eh, forget it. Yeah. It's nothing. All right, let's get into the news here. Just trying to help everybody out. Dwayne on Instagram, he's big on Insta. He reflected and... Uh, <laughs> Did he say he went to in and out again? No, he stood in front of time? a mirror, you idiot. I said he reflected. <laughs> he said it all hits differently. The theme, the crowd, the connection, the reaction, the electricity, the chills... Hell of a way to bring in 2024. He had goosebumps. He showed. Grateful, blessed, inspired to forever be the people's champ. We're just getting started. So I guess he didn't reflect that much. Well. Anyway. Sounds like he was just typing words into his IG. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. 
thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, tens of thousands of hours of audio, all for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.